Fish on. Fish on. The fog. No way. No way. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh! Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you can't tell, we are out on the sailboat. It feels so good to be out on the sailboat right now due to the fact that this is prime time fall colors and the view is absolutely insane. And we're gonna be able to see this view for three whole days because the goal is to not do one overnight, not two overnights. We're, we're planning to spend three days out here. That's been my ultimate goal. I've been wanting to do this for like a week now. I had this idea. I was like, why don't I just go out on the sailboat and see how long we can last. And honestly, maybe we stay more than three days. I don't know. But that's up to if we catch fish because I didn't bring too much food. It's a small sailboat and there's I couldn't bring a lot. So uh, if we do want to stay more than one night, we're going to have to catch some food so we can eat. So that's that's that and we're gonna be able to catch our own food with today's video sponsor Guggen Baits aka Guggen Squad aka the only clothing that I wear but we'll talk about them later because I'm trying to navigate us and I really want to catch some fish we're out here this is my favorite lake I used to fish here quite a lot this lake is just something about it I am obsessed with the only thing I'm concerned about is leaving my trailer in the parking lot we're not even in Rhode Island we're in Connecticut out in the middle of nowhere so not too many people come and fish here necessarily, but you never know, someone could mess with my stuff in the parking lot, someone could break into my truck. It's multiple days of my truck being abandoned with the trailer in some random place. So we'll see, it, it, this could go bad. This could take so many bad directions though, or it could take so many good directions and we'll never know unless we try. So we're doing it. Welcome to my home for the next couple of days. Let's go crank some fish and enjoy the weather because it's beautiful out and I just mm, Hopefully we'll crank them. We're doing it folks <laughs> This is why we got the sailboat Since this is the world's bougiest sailboat we have no spot lock <laughs> So we're gonna drop the anchor and we're sitting in the deepest part of the lake, at least from what I remember. Oh yeah, we just hit perfect. All right, awesome. That's really gonna help us. I have this entire thing. This is a money bag. This is pretty much what I carry all my fishing tackle in. Does not matter, this thing is amazing. I think I actually just grabbed it. Drag and drop, fall time killer. I'm either gonna do that or like a Ned rig, maybe a jig, a jerk bait. There's so many things I wanna throw right now, but I think I'm gonna start with drop shot. Feels so surreal being back on my favorite lake ever. I'm focusing on fish, baby. No way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my God, I was sitting down. Please be a good bath, I can't even tell. He feels decent, whatever it is. Oh yeah, he's digging, that's a bass. I can't, oh there he is. Oh yeah, oh, flip. <laughs> let's go. That feels so good. The first green bass of many to come off the sailboat, but it feels so good to catch one on day number one out here. That gives me so much more confidence for this trip that we will be able to catch them. But we are gonna let this bad boy go because bad luck to eat the first fish you catch. Little, little, little Larry, but we'll upgrade. 
Bye, bud. We are officially back on land. This is the future Becca, but I needed to stop in real quick and tell you guys a little bit about Guggen Squad slash Guggen Baits. Right here, one of the Guggen Squad apparel. They have amazing apparel, some of the best quality in the outdoors community. I definitely recommend checking some of that out. We got some Guggen Baits right here, which we catch a bunch of fish on in this video. My favorite, the Bandito Bug. My favorite color, blue baby or green pumpkin purple. They're both amazing. Not even a week ago, Guggen Squad came out with their own reels. They have rods and reels now. Make sure to go check them out. Look how amazing this thing is right here. We don't end up using it in this video, but I've been using them a bunch. Just trying to test them out and get a feel for them. And so far I am very much so impressed. So make sure you guys go check out their rods, their reels, their apparel, their baits, everything you think of fishing wise and apparel wise, they will have on their website. If you use my code, code Becca, save yourself some money as well as supporting the channel. When you use my code at checkout, you save 10% off, but you also support the channel in ways that I could never even explain to you guys. So thank you guys so much for everyone who has used my code. I greatly appreciate you, but back to the video. Enjoy watching me survive out on the sailboat for three days. How's it going? Hi. How are you? That's a unique boat to fish in. Um, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I saw it earlier and I said, that looks like a sailboat. It, it is. It doesn't have the, the mask under it. So it's just like, it's just like the same bottom as yours. It's flat. So it can go anywhere. Did you put it in at the boat though? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Rhode Island, only like right over the border, so not that far. That's really cool. Thank you. I'm gonna be out here for a couple of days, so if you see me, I'm okay. Okay, okay, but if you need help, we're back. What house are you? We're over on the other side. Okay. We're only two ways in the boat. Well, okay, cool, yeah. Where are you in the boat? In the boat, yeah. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Becca. Fingers crossed. Have a good one, guys. Oh, um, yeah, that wouldn't be the worst idea to know someone on the lake. Okay, got it. Nancy and Mark. Mark. Okay, cool. I should be fine, but I don't know anyone out here, so. Yeah, no, you can't hurt. No, I, I agree. So if, I'll text you. If I do text you, it'll say Becca. Okay. I'll say hi, it's Becca, so you're not like, what the heck. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Okay. I'm trying. Those people were so sweet. I just got their phone number because, you know, I, I don't know anyone from here. I just enjoy coming to this lake because it's fun to fish at. Like, I don't actually know anyone here. I found this place myself. So um, they gave me their cell phone number because I told them I was staying out here a couple of days. So if they see me still out here, like, I'm fine. Um, but they told me I had a unique boat and that's that that felt like the best compliment ever when someone tells you you have a unique boat and that was like your entire goal was to have a unique boat but that was really awesome they were sweethearts so if anything happens i know what house they are i know exactly which one they were just talking about so it's on the other side of the lake it's nice to make some friends out here nancy and mark you guys are amazing i am getting wet I'm about to call our new friends, uh, Nancy and Mark, because I surrender, um, it's pouring. Nice weather we have going on. Look how beautiful, <laughs> look at that sun. Just trying to catch some dinner, preferably. Oop, I'm all tangled up right now, hold on. No longer tangled. And it's pouring, so yeah, the rain, it's, it's absolutely downpouring now. Still beautiful out though. Beautiful and wet. Best combo. So right in front we have an island here and an island here. And I think I'm going to put the anchor down right in the middle. Wow. Way deeper than I thought. I thought we were actually really shallow. Home sweet home pretty far away from everyone I would say hopefully bears don't swim to this island and we'll be safe the bear population in Connecticut is slim to none at least the area that I'm in so that was a joke don't worry <laughs> the 
this will be the first overnight since we've redid the sailboat. If you did not watch the video where we redid this sailboat, it took me seven days. It's a start to finish episode because I wasn't going to make you guys watch like several episodes on it. It was just one video and it showed me doing everything start to finish. It was so cool. I recommend checking it out, but this is my first night in the sailboat being redone. So I'm really excited. She was just so beautiful. I'm about to make dinner, but it is indeed raining again, but it's like a mist. It's not even necessarily raining. So for the first time ever, we're going to attempt to cook inside of the sailboat. I've never cooked in here before. I'll keep this open, close it maybe just a little bit so the rain doesn't come in if it picks up, but we'll see how it goes. It is so eerie out. Tonight, it's only necessary that we make a very American gourmet meal. Why is my macaroni not cooking? I'm confused. How does someone mess up macaroni? It feels so good camping somewhere where I can comfortably sit, like my back completely straight up. Um, anyways, not me trying to change the subject over the fact that I literally just messed up mac and cheese. But to be fair, it's microwavable mac cheese and we obviously don't have microwave. Vegan mac and cheese. I am not vegan. I just have a dairy allergy. I am allergic to dairy. So vegan equals no dairy. Please do not roast me. <laughs> I didn't choose this life. I have been experimenting luckily i've said this before but luckily a dairy allergy is an allergy that you either are born with or it just starts happening halfway through your life whatever it's just a weird weird allergy so you can really get it whenever any point in your life and it also goes away so that's the cool thing just put my cheddar packet in here um but yeah that's the cool thing is that it it comes and goes and well it doesn't come and go once it's there it's there and then once it's gone it's gone it doesn't come back a second time hopefully but i think my allergy is getting to the point of i i can say it one day so hopefully soon i can have dairy again i do miss dairy <sighs> a lot it's been like at least seven years right how old was i like 15 15 i think i was i don't know anyways no one cares in case you don't care or you care, there you go. But tonight on the menu is mac and cheese, a well-deserved mac and cheese. Today has been absolutely insane. Before I even got here, the day just started off very rough. Mm-hmm. Wow, it is raining again. Pretty crazy. Anyways, what was I saying? Mac and cheese, well-deserved. We have limited food. Hopefully we catch some tomorrow. Tomorrow morning until there's a 30% chance of rain from 8 a.m. to 12 in the afternoon. So if it rains, it's going to be raining for a while, but 30% chance means nothing. It's either going it, to, it probably is going to rain knowing my luck. But I think it'd be cool to experience a storm in here with you guys, you know? gonna happen eventually where we go through a storm while we're camping on the sailboat so i feel like i'm as prepared as i'm ever gonna be Ta-da! 
the lights make this place so magical and so homey like it feels so cozy in here once you put these lights on come on i know it looks pretty good this is indeed my first time showing you guys but this is what she looks like with the lights on pretty cool i think i'm gonna get ready for bed slowly but surely day one decently successful in my opinion we had mac and cheese we caught a bass we made some friends nothing has gone terribly wrong thus far fingers crossed knock on wood but i think we'll be okay i'm really excited Again, the lack of food, it is indeed a little nerve-wracking, of course, but I think at the end of the day, we should be able to catch some fish. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see, but I'm going to get myself all cozy in bed, maybe watch a movie, spoil myself a little bit, and kind of go from there. But very happy with how today went. It's pouring. <laughs> Everything's getting wet. I was just laying here and the rain just started downpouring. That was crazy. This weather is just bonkers. <laughs> I don't even know like a good word to describe it. It's just on and off, on and off. And when it is on, it is on. I don't know if it looks like it's crazy to you guys, but it is pretty wild every time it's been raining. I think that's legitimately the fifth time it's just started downpouring. Anyways, it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to hit the hay really, really soon. <laughs> um, really soon because it's like, yeah, it's, it's my bedtime for sure. So I'm going to hit the hay. Um see what happens tomorrow if it's gonna be raining as much as it says it's gonna or what but i guess we'll find out in the morning and i will see you guys then i love you guys i appreciate you and i will see you guys in the morning it's currently 4 a.m. And it's been pouring for like two hours. It's super loud and peaceful, don't get me wrong, it's definitely peaceful, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be stopping anytime soon. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm also laying this way i'm taking everyone's suggestion that my head shouldn't be under there which you guys were right <sighs> all right back to bed i'm gonna try at least try you guys heard that that was so crazy he's scratching the roof i can hear him sorry i'm like scared to open this something's on the sailboat right now this is ridiculous I don't know. I'm not even that close to the trees. The sun is out, sort of, kind of, a little bit. I'm gonna change into my clothes for the day. 
and hopefully catch some breakfast. <laughs> That'd be very ideal if we could catch some food to eat for breakfast. Hopefully the fish like this weather, but we'll find out. I'm gonna get changed and see if we can catch something. That'd be nice. I'll take anything. I'll, I'll eat a bluegill. I'll eat a perch. I'll eat a crappie and a uh, bass pickerel. So pretty much whatever we catch, we're eating. It, hopefully we get some good luck by letting that bass go yesterday because it's what they say. If you let go the first fish of the day, it's good luck. If you eat the first fish that you catch of the day, it's bad luck. We'll see how uh, true that theory is. We're debunking it. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh, ripped it right out of the fish's mouth. Another breakfast meal gone. Oh my God. I didn't even set the hook. Fish on. Fish on. I didn't even set the hook. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh, that's a good bass. God, I love fall bass fishing. Get in here. -hee -hee. That is a big meal if I keep him. That is, oh man, I want smaller. I hate that I have such a big heart for bass. I mean, the amount of catch and cooks we've done on this channel is ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't plan on ever stopping doing catch cooks, but man, it's just something about bass. They just have my heart. And like, he's definitely, <sighs> I'm gonna let you go. But the next fish I catch, it's game over, okay? Tell your friends, tell your little friends actually. That was a good bass. I didn't even set the hook. <laughs> I'm so, I, that was a lucky, lucky catch. All right, next fish. Oh snap, it is pouring. This closes all the way to here, but it's like at a, it's not straight up, it's at like an angle. So just a little bit of water was getting in. So I just pushed it back a little bit enough and this is standing up by itself. Luckily I did have an umbrella in here and it's perfect. And now this can just stay open the entire time, which is super nice to get some fresh air in here and actually be able to kind of see where we are and hear the rain the entire time. Pretty cool. We have orange and cinnamon spice. I've never had this one and it sounded really interesting and intriguing so I had to pick it up. Let's find out. This might be the dumbest thing or the most smart thing. I am going to put this topwater popper on. It is a micro topwater popper. I've had this thing for quite a while. I don't even know where I got it from, if I'm being honest with you guys, but I've definitely caught some fish on it before. It's just been ages since I've thrown it. I love your boat. Thank you, me too. I've been hiding in the rain. Oh, there we go. There we go. On top water. Oh my. No comment. Oh. Come on, come on, don't come off and be a keeper too while you're at it. It's fighting good. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Oh yeah, buddy. 
that's a that's an actual giant oh my goodness you're gonna taste so good where's my pliers definitely a size difference first one we caught one we just caught we're gonna knock them out real quick oh heck yeah These are the four fillets, two fish equals two fillets per fish. So we got four. Bluegill don't have a crazy amount of meat on them, but they are insanely delicious and easily one of my favorite fish to eat. So small and mighty is exactly what I would describe this meat as. I know technically Cajun seasoning is for like crawfish, crabs, fries thing of things of that nature i have never put cajun on my fish ever you guys know the deal old bay seasoning on fish is the best thing ever and i can't imagine cajun's much different so we're gonna do two fillets cajun seasoning and then two fillets old bay and we're gonna go head to head and see which one is the best i think we might try to catch some fish later too for dinner so I don't want to show you guys the other way I was going to cook them. We got some skin on it. If you're curious about what that is. Old Bay versus Cajun. I would say they both look pretty equally as good. Forgot how spicy this stuff is though. So this one's going to be pretty spicy. I can't believe I'm finally saying it, but the rain has stopped, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's a lie. We have like another 30 minutes and then the storm's supposed to be completely passing us, but let's start off with the Old Bay, which is the best of the best. Can't beat it. Classic. Ooh, this looks crispy. Next up, the Cajun. Hmm. This feels right. This feels right. But this feels like home. This is home, but this also feels right. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've been an Old Bay person my entire life, but one sec. One sec. Come on. That's so good, though. I'm going to go with Old Bay. I'm trying to think of which one I would like to eat more of. Like, say this pile was all the way up here and this pile was all the way up here of fish. I could devour that way faster and happier than the Cajun. Does that make sense? Probably not. It probably doesn't. But it makes sense to me. And that is going to conclude our segment of This or That by Becca. I'm just kidding. We don't actually ever usually do stuff like that, but... I was really curious because I, I had both on me. We're definitely going to need a bigger fish and more fish for dinner because I do have spaghetti squash, which I would love to have fish on top of spaghetti squash. That just sounds so elegant. I'm hoping to catch a pickerel, but if not, goodbye, Mr. Bass. I need to get over it. We brought no food, so we ain't messing around. Not no food, but little food. Probably gonna fish, maybe read. 
That took us a lot longer than I wanted to. I was starving all morning. I'm going to finish eating these fish. Don't worry. But the weather, it was just downpouring, downpouring for like five, six hours. <laughs> it's Nancy and our boy. They're coming to visit me. And off they go. <laughs> Fish on, fish on. Oh, I thought I got weeds. Boat flip, boat flip. Oh no, he's barely hooked. Yes! Dinner, 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 chicken dinner. Yes, baby. I would honestly say he's just a little bit smaller than the other two that we caught, but I'm gonna have to go with, we're gonna knock him on the head so we can respectfully dispatch him and then continue fishing for a little bit more. But when I tell you guys I've been fishing all day, all day and we finally caught one i really do want a pickerel so it makes me like really sad that i have to kill this bass oh it's so hard as a bass fisherman but i i'm i gotta do it i gotta do it and get over and done with eventually or do i i i can just eat spaghetti squash i can just eat spaghetti squash I can catch some bluegill again, even though they're not fun to fillet, but like, I love you. I'm gonna get roasted in the comments for this. I couldn't do it. <laughs> wow. I think a bass is literally the only species that I have a hard time, you know, eating and filleting like it's it's like the only freshwater species left that i haven't ate definitely rethinking my choice right now as my stomach just growls oh oh top water hit smoked it oh yeah and we're rewarded with a giant gill that's when i know i've made the right decision Man, this little popper is the bluegill slayer. Bye, buddy. That was literally first cast after letting that bass go, so I'm satisfied. Let's get some more. Because those two bluegill didn't really fill me up by any means. It held me over, though. That is so obnoxious over there. I'm sure you guys can hear it. I filleted up those bluegills, put the fillet, well, not the fillets, but the carcass, both of them in there. We're gonna put this trap out tonight and check in the morning what we end up catching. Once he's done making the obnoxious noise, we'll start cooking, but I don't wanna cook with that as the background noise because I'm sure you guys don't wanna listen to that. So we'll wait and uh, cook up some bluegills soon for dinner. Finally, props to that guy for going as hard as he did, but he was leaf blowing for hours. It is finally peace and quiet. It is actually getting extremely, extremely cold out, which is making me nervous because I actually haven't checked the weather. Last night we were pretty blessed, but I think tonight it is going to be a brutal freezing cold night, but we shall see. I'm starving. I felt really weak, so I closed us up into the sailboat. It's, it's hard because we didn't get much uh, nutritious value 
today, you know? So that kind of led to me feeling a little blah because I fished and was on my feet. It was sitting. I was just constantly doing something all day on the boat. And it's crazy to think that I haven't even stepped foot on land in quite some time. So anyways, my rant's over. Let's try to throw some things together that I brought and make a dinner because I'm starving. So this should be interesting. We got our two bluegill fillets again. I know, but we do still have the spaghetti squash, which I believe I told you guys that already. I got some spaghetti squash, so let's uh, let's get cooking because I have waited oh so patiently for probably too long at this point. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. They're already rinsed. <clears throat> wow. They're already rinsed and dried. This is the next seasoning up on the list. This is the rosemary garlic salt that I showed you guys on the clam catch and cook, and it is very, very delicious, just extremely strong. So it, you really don't need a lot. Like the rosemary smell, right? Mm. You could, it's just, I wish I could explain it to you guys, but it's hard. To, that's too much. Oh my goodness. It is just like very powerful. Let's just say that. But we're just going to sprinkle some on it. She might not look pretty, but she's going to taste good. Spaghetti squash takes way too long to bake, so if you get it completely dried like this, it's like four minutes boiling water and it is cooked. So I'm going to only take probably this, maybe a little bit more and that's all I need. Whoa, we were only in there for like 10 minutes. The fog is insane. We're not going to be visible at all tonight. For you uh, spaghetti squash lovers, if you end up trying this, you've got to drain it. Drain it. I don't have a strainer. Well, oh, it's raining again. We're going to quickly put the trap out. Spaghetti squash. Freshly caught bluegill. That looks exactly like chicken. Some cherry tomatoes. Now, that does not look half bad for me just grabbing spaghetti squash and tomatoes right before I left and then our protein being something that we just caught. Now, I don't know how this is gonna taste, but let me get that out of there. This stuff right here is so good. Chipotle version and the regular version's good. I'm gonna put some of this on here, just a little bit, and then if we like it, we'll add more. The bottle ain't going nowhere. There we go. Try a little bit of that corner with it. I'm actually really impressed right now with our skill level. We made it happen. Like, we have a meal that doesn't look half bad. We got a piece of bluegill. Spaghetti squash. Let's grab a tomato. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh. It's, it's pretty spicy. This and the tomato clashes really, really well together. Like, the flavors just are incredible. And then the, the fish mixed with spaghetti squash just tastes like spaghetti squash and chicken, really. That rosemary mixed in with, like, that herby flavor of the tomato. Everything came out phenomenal. 
don't mind me guys but this is a well-deserved meal that i'm about to absolutely devour and if you think i'm kidding i'm not i could get used to this oh that was so delicious and so needed am i still hungry a little bit i'm not gonna lie but that was really really good i think next let's put some pajamas on and clean up inside because it is an absolute disaster in here i can't lie to you guys i don't want to show you guys what it looks like but it's a disaster in here right now so i'm gonna clean in pajama time Yep. Figured I'd check it, but nothing in the trap, at least right now. We'll check her in the morning. I came out to kind of see what my sailboat looks like with my lights on. <laughs> you can tell the lights are on on the inside. You can kind of see, but the windows are pretty, pretty dark. And it is raining yet again sprinkling but still raining pretty beautiful night time to get in for some bedtime i cleaned up kind of nice um, i just texted nancy and mark i don't know if i showed you guys but they <laughs> they came and saw me today um while i was just fishing and hanging out just to like check up on me and we said a couple words blah blah and I promised them I'd text them and let them know I was safe and um I just texted them and told them I was headed to bed so Nancy and Mark are adorable I appreciate them but I'm like extremely extremely exhausted I fished from sunrise to sunset today and I was up two three hours before the sunrise so today's just been a long day it's, it's been a long day, and I'm, like, beyond ready to hit the hay. So, I'm gonna go to bed, keep you guys updated if anything interesting happens. Hopefully, no birds end up on the roof of the sailboat, because that was terrible. It was this creepiest scratching sound ever. Like, I... Mm, no, no. Not a fan, so hopefully we can avoid that. But, uh, day two? Complete. Day one, success. Day two, success. Hopefully tomorrow goes well. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to bed. Well, good morning. It is officially day number three on the sailboat. We're going to hit 72 hours pretty soon. Pretty cool. But I have exciting news. Our friends Nancy and Mark that we met on day one out on the lake invited me to go see their cottage and get some breakfast. So um, I they called me last night and we were talking before I went to sleep. I'm going to take the sailboat and put it on the trailer and then they're going to pick me up in the boat at the boat launch. So when we're done, I can head out is like the game plan we'll see so i'm gonna go get changed for the day put on some clothes well i'm wearing i'm wearing clothes but like an outfit um <laughs> and then we'll go from there well i am so proud of myself i slept so well last night so tired i don't know if you guys can see but that's my truck right there <laughs> i slept um at the point right next to the boat launch because i was actually kind of nervous randomly last night about my truck i don't know why last night i was like oh wow it's so beautiful this morning no fog no rain of course, we're not spending the entire day out here today, but... Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> wow. I hope we have something. Even just like a little, little bluegill. Are you kidding?
kidding? How is there nothing? Every time we camp on the water, I don't catch anything in the fish traps. Why? I just want to look at some cool bluegills or something. Huh. Wow, land, pavement, grass. I've missed you. And the love of my life, I've missed you so much. <laughs> You're doing great. You want me to meet you there or drive over um, with you? You can do that or I can drive you because um, it'd be difficult to try to park that thing in the driveway. Okay, but I'll just hop in. I'll just hop in with you then. That's okay. fine. Looks like you want to see upstairs? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, come on. I'm around the end of 1930. Yeah, it's so cool though. Isn't it? It's like a dollhouse. It kind of is, yeah. And then we still have our old TV with the VCR and the D We play all these. That's so cool. In the cool. summertime, we don't have Wi-Fi. I don't want it. And you guys have a such you a good view. You want to wake up to that every morning? I did on the sailboat. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. And then this was the kids' room. It seems that way to me. Thank you so much. And you know what? It, it's... It was a pleasure meeting you, yeah. man. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to let you guys know when I'm back around. Yeah. Well, I'm officially back in my truck. Oh, this feels so nice. If there's one thing for sure, it is they were lovely people, as well as their son. I think his name was Billy. Sorry if I got that wrong. I believe it was Billy. They're, they're just all incredible. Mark, Nancy, Billy unbelievable people uh they also gave me a book that nancy actually wrote and it's a fiction story on this lake so like this entire book is based off of this lake right here so when they're talking about the islands and stuff like that it's all it's all about um this lake it's so cool they were so nice food was awesome great company definitely not how i expected this video to turn out on day three but Day three has been awesome. It's uh, definitely a little bit later in the day than I anticipated on leaving, but I don't really mind at all. I got to head home though. I got to go see my, my daughter, my dog. You guys know her. I have the coolest dog ever. I'm a dog mom. Got to go make sure she's okay. So I'm ending the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our sailboat adventure. Low tire pressure. But uh, definitely some exciting stuff coming to the channel soon. So stick around, make sure you subscribe. Drop a like, comment, do all that fun stuff, and I will uh, catch you beautiful people on the next one.